Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking into the intriguing topic of the great fish that swallowed Jonah. The historical account of the prophet Jonah, I would argue, is truly one of many accounts from the Bible that is intriguing and impactful. In fact, many Christians of my generation growing up were probably introduced to the biblical account of Jonah through watching the VeggieTales film called Jonah. The book of Jonah talks about the prophet Jonah who was given the mission from God to travel to the Assyrian city of Nineveh to preach about God's anger towards the people of Nineveh and their need to repent of their offenses and wrongdoings. Jonah refused to conduct this mission from God, so he decided that he was going to flee from God by getting on a ship that was heading towards Tarshish. This led God to bring forth a vicious storm upon the sea, which led Jonah to be tossed into the sea by the sailors, leading to him being swallowed by the great fish. The account of Jonah being swallowed by the great fish is written in the scripture verse of Jonah chapter 1 verses 17. So this is what the scripture verse of Jonah chapter 1 verses 17 states regarding the great fish swallowing the prophet Jonah. And the Lord designated a great fish to swallow Jonah, and Jonah was in the stomach of the fish for three days and three nights. The great fish swallowing Jonah is truly the most iconic aspect of the story. It is a fact that whenever people tend to think about Jonah, many people immediately remember the story of him being swallowed by the great fish. This iconic aspect of the story has also made many people to doubt the historicity and veracity of the story, being that many people find it very difficult to believe that Jonah was ever swallowed by a giant fish. The reason many people have difficulty believing this is because of this fact, which is this. When most people read the scripture verse of Jonah being swallowed by the great fish, many people tend to think that the great fish that swallowed Jonah was a whale. To a certain extent, this makes sense being that ancient people would have probably referred to whales as giant fishes, as great fishes. This may be true, however many of the largest whale species, such as the blue whale, the fin whale, or the bowhead whale, are filter feeders. This means they mostly eat plankton and would not be able to swallow a human being whole. In fact, even swallowing a hearing would cause them to choke. The largest of all fish species today, which is the whale shark, does indeed have a large mouth. However, its throat is only four inches wide, which means that even a human arm would not be able to pass through. Therefore, Jonah could not have been swallowed by a whale shark or a fin whale. Before we go any further, we need to first look at the original Hebrew in which the book of Jonah was written in. In the original Hebrew, the creature that swallows the prophet Jonah is called Dag Gadol, which literally translates as great fish or huge fish. Therefore, the Bible makes it clear to us that it was truly a literal giant fish that swallowed Jonah. The Holy Scriptures point out 
that it was literally a giant fish that swallowed Jonah. So now this begs the question, which is this. What was the giant fish? What was the great fish that swallowed the prophet Jonah? This is the question that will be explored in this video by examining and exploring two theories on what the great fish was that swallowed Jonah. The first theory that I would like to present is the theory that the great fish which swallowed the prophet Jonah is or in fact was a species of fish that does not exist today. The fossil record reveals that in the past there were a few fish species that were rather gigantic. The most prominent of these gigantic fish species was the giant shark called Megalodon. The Megalodon was a giant shark species that is estimated by paleontologists to be roughly around 15 to 20 meters. The jaws of Megalodon is estimated to be roughly 9 to 12 feet wide, which is easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. The fossilized teeth of Megalodon have been found all over the world, including the Mediterranean, which was the sea that Jonah was sailing in. Now, some of you might not necessarily agree with the Megalodon theory, because according to mainstream science and paleontology, the Megalodon supposedly died out 3 million years ago. Now, I don't personally agree with this, because I truly believe that there is a strong biblical argument that the earth is several thousand years old, rather than millions, billions, or trillions of years old. In fact, I made a video talking about this subject, which is called Genesis is True. The link for the Genesis video will be in the description of this video. Therefore, I truly believe in the possibility that Megalodon was alive 3,000 years ago, and thus it might have been the creature that swallowed the prophet Jonah. It might have been the creature in which the scripture verse of Jonah chapter 1 verse 17 was talking about. The second theory is that the great fish that swallowed Jonah was a supernatural creature created by God at that very moment in time to swallow Jonah. It was a creature created for this purpose. It is also possible to say that the great fish that swallowed Jonah was or maybe is an unknown species of gigantic fish that has not yet been discovered. Whether you agree with the first theory or the second theory, it is important to understand this fact, which is this. 5% of all the world's oceans have been discovered. This means that 95% of it are still unknown. 95% of the oceans have not yet been discovered or explored. This proves the possibility that there are unknown species or species believed to be extinct still living in these unknown places within the oceans. Our Lord, King and Savior Jesus Christ truly believed that Jonah being swallowed by the great fish was truly a historical event. This is what Christ said about Jonah in the scripture verse of Matthew chapter 12 verses 40. For as Jonah was in the belly of the huge fish three days and three nights, so the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. Our Lord, King, and Savior Jesus Christ 
truly believed that the stories in the Old Testament, in the Tanakh, were indeed historical events that happened in the past, including the account of Jonah being swallowed by the great fish. It's important for us to understand that the entire Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, is true. Therefore, we should never consider certain events written in the Bible to be figurative stories, because it is undermining the authority, the historicity, and the veracity of the Bible. Therefore, whether you agree with the first theory or the second theory which I have presented, it is important to understand that the story of Jonah being swallowed by the great fish was truly an actual event that happened in history. Whether it was a megalodon that swallowed Jonah or an unknown species of giant fish, it is a fact that Jonah was indeed swallowed by a literal fish of gigantic proportions. In other words, the entire Bible, including the biblical account of Jonah being swallowed by the great fish, is historically and spiritually true. And now, my friends, may the light and salvation of our Lord, King, and Savior, Jesus Christ, the boundless love of the Father, and the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen.